M0FXB, welcome to my channel and my videos on the ICOM ID52. M0FXB, ICOM52 programming software, ETC. I'll just show you some of the links I've got here. Uh, so, uh, this one is just the download for the programming software. They'll all be in the description. Then I've noticed there's a page here for programming software, USB driver and firmware. I'm guessing that the 52E model is going to come with version 1.22. Interestingly, the USB driver is the same as the ICOM 705. You're going to need to load that before you start using the programming software. So there's just a uh, firmware download manual page. Now I have done a firmware download. Have a look for the video. And there's USB driver, which I might run in a second. Also, I've gone to dstar.info.com and I've to find the different files that you can download. Now, this section is the memory files. I'll put all these links in for the memories in your area. So you would select your area. So if I go down to United Kingdom, select the radio if you're in the UK, you want the 52E and then download. And then you would have this uh, CSV file, and that would contain your memories. Because you can use these files to import. And we'll, we'll look at the import section as well, briefly. Repeater download, that's probably the one that most of us are going to use. So again, location, like so. Look up the location first, and then select the radio. 52E, or if you're in America, A. So E for UK, download. We've got another file there, which is the repeater list file. Okay, CSV file. And then, so we've done memory, repeater list, and this one's called memory downloads near location. And it looks like I've already done that one, and we'll, we'll download it again. And... Um, So here's the zip file for the USB driver. We're going to double click this and we're going to go for 64. I'm going to run it and do all this before you use the micro USB cable. Let that run through. All right, it's making me remove it because I've already got this installed on my computer. So let's just run it again. Double click. Yes. United States, we'll have to do that for now. There you go. Finished. That's it. And we're all ready to go. So now when you plug in your ID52 into the PC, it will show up here in the device manager. And it looks like this. ID52 serial port COM11 on mine. The programming software is here. I'll put the link in the description. CS52 version 1.21. We've already added the driver, the USB driver. So click this. And you're going to need to get yourself a micro USB cable for the radio. And then we're going to go down. Programming software download. Click this. Download. Let that run. And... Um, Click that, now it's completed. Double click here, where it says CS52. Set up XE, click yes. Run it through, now we've already got this, so it might tell me to remove it. There you go, so we'll remove it and then put it back in. There you go. United States for now. I'm in the UK. Next, next, finish. And then when you click start here, you'll see it appear at the top there, we hope.
So let's add our hotspot. So what I've done here, I've created a new group. We don't need to. We could use an existing group here. But I've just gone to 21, which was empty. Right click and click Edit Name. And then I've written Hotspot. And it comes up with this new list that we can add to. We can add several things to this list. So all you do is type 1, DV, DV Repeater. Then I've named it My Hotspot. I've named the sub name Pistar. I've got my course on in there and I've used the letter B. So it's M0FXB, like so, the space B. And then it automatically puts the G in here. Double click, I've got my operating frequency in there. And now you do need to put a, an offset in and then a zero. It always has to have an offset. It could be plus or minus, DV mode. And that's pretty much my hotspot added. Um, let's just add another one. So we'll go new here, and then we'll call it a DV repeater. We'll kind of call this one open spot, like so. And then I'll just put here that it's home for now. Call sign has to be, can't be a B again, so we're going to have to use a different letter. So we'll go M. 0FXB, and then we'll go space as far as it will let us, then we'll go P for now. And we might be able to go another space, so it's two space, P. No, it won't let me do that, so I have to go back one, P. Okay, and then it automatically puts that in for you, the G. Frequency of my open spot is 433.900. Duplex, change that to a naught. All the noughts, and it's DV mode. Uh, use from, I click yes, and then you can put your position here, your location, um, like I did there, but you don't need to. And that's it, and then save that, save that, and then when you write it to your radio, like so, write to radio, you'll now have in the repeater list called hotspot, you will have your hotspot, and you'll be able to select what the open spot, just get that right, spelt that wrong, open, that's better, um, or your hotspot, so that should help. So I'll just show you the import system, you've got file, and then you've got the word import. So if we select all, we've got these files that we saved from D Star Info. Now as soon as you go to import one, it tells you it's going to clear the old one. So we'll just click one here, this is a repeater list. And it will import it, but it says the current list will be cleared. So I'll do it, and then I can always undo it afterwards, because I've, I've already saved uh, something. I've already saved a backup by just clicking Save here and creating a new file. I'll just show you how to export. You just go File, Export. I'm going to click All, and then we have to give it, give it a name. So I'll call it um, My Export. I've done it before two and then we'll go save and then it will export that I'll just go to my file my export two and there's my repeater list file saved let's look at our memory channels and groups now not really done this before but anyway let's just go to this section here naught naught to 99 channels so 100 channels here that have all been pre-sent to me by someone and they're not in a group at the moment so let's look at how we would add a group so see this section here we can add a group and we can rename it so look this one here I've called FM repeaters DV repeaters if you want to add one click add like so and it gives you the six now go back to the six right click and edit and we'll click edit name and we'll call it uh, simplex channels simplex channels so we've now got an extra group there and as you can see that group at the moment is blank so let's just create a simplex channel so we'll call this one s20 operating frequency we'll go one four five dot 500 duplex is off offset we don't need step is auto but we could choose 6.25 FM or we could have FM narrow 
we don't want skip, we don't need toned, and there's a channel. And then we go S21, uh, S21, one four five dot dot five two five again no offset uh this channel steps fm narrow if you want or fm it could be a dv channel but we call it simplex channels if we go back up to dv repeaters for example um then we could put in let's have it, let's give it a go i haven't done one yet dv repeater Let's just call it G B seven B D for now. Just and we'll we'll do the frequency at four three zero, and then we'll go give it a shift plus shift of nine. I'm just this is just hypothetical now. <coughs> DV repeater mode DV. We're not going to touch these ones. CQ, CQ. It does give you the option here to choose. I've not really done this. But maybe, I'm pretty sure you could probably choose a repeater in your list. Yeah, so let's try one. Yeah, see that? So if you choose, if you want to create just a normal memory channel, you can actually choose an existing repeater. We could even choose our hotspot, couldn't we? If you go down to our hotspot, double click. Look, we chose our hotspot. Use repeater. Repeater select gateway. So you got the CQ, the B. Well, that really, I would say that that needs to be a G there. That, that, that section. Maybe that. Yeah, that'll change it. So if you choose gateway, it says G. Look, so B and G is what you want. And it puts it in there for you, or you can manually type it and save it. So you've effectively created a a digital voice repeater. So yeah, that should get you going. Um, if you want to add your local repeater, just go to one of your channels, like so. That are clear. Let's go to FM repeaters. Let's just say we do GB3WR, GB3WR. Frequency, so we go one four five uh, dot six hundred, and it's going to be minus offset is going to be six here. So put a six, you want zero dot six all the noughts. Step doesn't really matter. FM, let's do narrow. I think most people recommend narrow. Tone, let's do tone here, and we'll choose 94.8. Uh, and we'll do it on receive and transmit. There you go. Don't need any of that. So there you are, you've created GB3WR. Let's do a 70 centimeter one. So we'll go um, GB3FI. Get the frequency in there, which is four three zero dot nine two five. The plus shift, and it'd be seven point six. So you want naught point seven six, and all the noughts, I would say. Hopefully that's right. Auto FM narrow tone will be tone squelch. We'll go seventy seven. We'll do plus and minus. Plus or minus, and that's it. Now we've got a 70 centimeter FM analog repeater. So that should help you getting a repeater in. So we've done hotspot and repeater now. So we just end the video. It's obviously, you know, very, uh, very good program. So much you can do. You've got, you know, your channels, your groups, skip settings, core channel settings, scan edge scan link, FM broadcast radio memory, DTMF memory here, digital, and then go down, you've got your your call sign list, which you can have DCS, XLX, and XRF, repeater list, which you can import and export.
my station is for your own call sign TX history RX history from DV and FM I mean it's just extensive G it's a big section here for GPS GPS memory and all these things you can right click you can import export when you've got things there digital settings RX history so is it, I mean I, I, don't, I very rarely use these programs I just use the radio but I thought I'd show you um, it's, it's very very similar I would say to the ID 50 51 and previous radios you've got clone for reading the whole radio files for import and export you can save them receive history you can change the font size comport clone you've got lots more options here so um, yeah I hope this video just gives you an idea of what the programming software of the CS52 is like so thanks for watching please like and subscribe 73 all the best wishing you all a very merry Christmas and a happy new year from M0FXB 73 all the best